it was great. It was like probably the best time of my life. I was actually just writing a little journal, or sorry, a journal article about it, and uh, it's definitely it kind of changes how you see the Olympics and how you see high-level sport. And just to meet all those other athletes, it's yeah. Well, the next step is is just to continue developing and to we're next year we're playing in uh, Group One of World League, which will be like the top top cream of the crop, and we're going to have more experience there. And um, you know, the goal. I mean, this Olympics. <laughs> As soon as we beat the U.S., as soon as we got past the initial pool rounds, everyone's like, oh, you guys are going to medal, you're going to win gold. And it doesn't happen that easy. It's, it's not a process like that, we, unless you get really lucky. But uh, our team is focused on 2020, and we're focused on the World Championships in two years and just playing at the highest level until uh, as long as we can, you know? No, I thought maybe I'd be a teacher in Winnipeg, just, just relaxing. And then uh, just opportunities and doors just kept opening all over the place, and uh, now I'm here. So you're aiming to be on the, on the Olympic team in 2020? Well, I mean, yeah, like I'm 28 right now, which is like good age for a volleyball player. Uh, 32 will be the next one. That's, you know, I'll probably have to work a little bit harder, but it's, it's possible. It can be realistic, and uh, that's what I'll, I'll be trying to do, yeah.